How about the Minneapolis Colts, ladies and gentlemen? Ocarina of Fire here. Thank you all for checking in. So, you're ready to talk about Week 16 in the NFL. It's our second to last Sunday of football during the regular season, and it was a great weekend. We had our playoff races sorted out a little bit, records broken, and uh, there's some competitive games, some good games coming throughout the day, and a couple great games going on right now as I'm recording this. The afternoon games have been pretty good, you know, those Snow Bowl in Green Bay, especially that Arizona-Seattle game has been great to watch. So if you are not haven't been able to check in with those, tune in and uh, watch them conclude. So I'm going to talk about first the uh, Indianapolis Colts and their dominant win over the Kansas City Chiefs going into Arrowhead Stadium. I personally didn't think they'd have a shot in this game. They were just too injured up front. This is their seventh offensive line they've had to use this year. T.Y. Hilton was banged up going in. And the way that they manhandled the Kansas City Chiefs was very refreshing. It was very similar to how uh, they played back in week three when they went up to uh, Candlestick Park and played the um, San Francisco 49ers. They beat them up on offense. They beat them up on defense and stomped them out on special teams. It was just a complete effort. The only bad part of the game for the Colts was that they missed a field goal, and that was really it. So when that's your negative, then you really know you're starting to do things right. Andrew Luck was uh, spectacular once again, picking apart that great, great Kansas City secondary. Griff Whalen stepping up huge, multiple third-down conversions, multiple uh, times he shut off three or four tacklers and got off field and make big plays. He was a playmaker all day, and hopefully he can step into that role where they've lacked in the last couple of weeks since Reggie Waynes went down. Ever since that second half of Kansas City, or at Cincinnati, excuse me, three weeks ago, these teams really turned it around. They've been starting to move the ball, be more effective. They went to no huddle a little bit, and it really was a nice spark, and they were able to move the ball down the field against a very good defense in Kansas City. The Colts defense was able to uh, snuff out Alex Smith, Dwayne Bowe, Jamal Charles. Jamal Charles, coming off arguably one of the best games of his career, was uh, able to hold him in check for the most part. Sure, he had some big runs, but they were able to keep him off from having a monster, monster game because he's a game wrecker. He can wreck a game for you. If you're not careful, he can go off for five touchdowns like he did last week against the Oakland Raiders. So it was a key to stopping him, and he did a great job at that. Donald Brown was a huge playmaker for the Colts with a long touchdown run and a long screen uh, reception brought in for for a touchdown. And he's really been great after getting the uh, starting nod off of uh, Trent Richardson. Trent Richardson, before I get into go any further, Leave the guy alone. The guy's been good. He's been doing everything he can, learning his third system in three years. You know, it's really hard for the guy with a makeshift offensive line. You've seen glimpses of once that guy gets into the open field, he's able to do great things. He's a pain in the ass to bring down. It's just, it seems that whenever Richardson gets the ball, there's a guy in his face. And the fact that he averages two yards a carry is phenomenal, considering he's getting hit in the backfield almost every time he gets the ball. So, way off of Richardson, he'll be fine. Congratulations to Andrew Luck for uh, passing Peyton Manning to move in the second for the first most uh, passing yards ever by a quarterback in his first two seasons. He's seven yards behind Cam Newton, so he'll easily break that next week versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Another record broken today. Peyton Manning, as you can see over my shoulder here, finally got his record back. He's now the um, holder of the single season record for the most touchdowns in a single season with 51, surpassing Tom Brady's in that great 18-1 and season. They had an 18 and 1. So, um, yeah, Peyton Manning is now the sole king of touchdown passes for a single year. It's good that he got his record back, and it can further cement how he is the greatest quarterback of all time. That we can have an argument for another day because I'm ready to go on that one as well. So we'll worry about that in a couple days. But congratulations to Peyton Manning. As for the AFC uh, playoff picture, Denver has sealed up the AFC West. New England sealed up the AFC East. We're looking to see if Cincinnati can possibly lock up the NFC, AFC North next week, and the Colts already have won the AFC South last week. So all of our playoff teams are just about there. We just need to know the order. Denver's looking like they're going to get the number one seed. New England possibly the number two seed most likely. They're up 20 to nothing as I'm recording this right now over the Baltimore Ravens. So we'll see how it turns out with that. Cincinnati right now at the three. Indianapolis at the four. Kansas City's locked in at the five since the West is there. Yeah, the question they're going to be in that spot with an 11 and four record. So the only movement really that can be is the possibility that the Ravens win the AFC North. They'll move into the four spot, and Cincinnati will drop into the wild card spot. There's also a chance that Indianapolis or Cincinnati could jump into that number two slot and get a first round bye, depending how next week uh, ends up going. 
If the New England Patriots drop their uh, Week 17 game against the Buffalo Bills, the Bengals will be the number two seed. As if the Patriots lose and the Bengals lose with the Colts win, they will clinch the number two seed in the first round by. So um, there's a lot of moving around that could be done in the AFC, but we basically know what our six teams are going to be. It's going to be the Broncos, Colts, Chiefs, Patriots, Bengals, possibly the Ravens, maybe the Dolphins, maybe the Chargers, but it's most likely going to be those six. And um, that's really about it. We'll see uh, what happens. What shakes up to be the uh, wild card weekend. If it does turn out to be Colts Chiefs again, that sure is to be a great game at Indianapolis this time. I will be in attendance, so I will be bringing you a video live from the AFC wild card weekend in Indianapolis. So we'll see where we go from there. It'll be fun. And uh, I'm ready for some playoff football. You know, not to brag or anything, but my team and fantasy is about to walk into the Super Bowl for that. So it's been a good weekend of football. So hope you all enjoyed my video. Just want to talk about some of the big news stories, uh, happenings of this Sunday for the AFC especially. Peyton Manning, congratulations once again on your single season touchdown record. Andrew Luck about to go get that first two, t first, uh, two seasons, most uh, passing yards. About to get that next week. Broncos locking up their division, the Patriots theirs, the Colts possibly moving up to the two. Great dominant win over the Kansas City Chiefs, and that's really all I got for tonight. Appreciate you all watching. I, I always appreciate it. Um, just starting out like this, it, it's kind of tough, but it's going. Hopefully it's good. You all like it. You all watching, so you know the deal. So thank you all for watching, and uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment if you want to tell me what to do. Tell me what's up. Tell me the Colts suck. Come on, argue with me. Tell me Peyton Manning sucks. Come on. I'm waiting for it. So that's all I got tonight. Thank you all for watching. And like always, have a good night. Go Colts.